Yo, what is good homies, so today I'm going to be going over the fastest way to grind skill points in Forza Horizon 5. Um, and yeah, that's really it, but if you want to be in future videos on the channel, like car meets, or competitions for credits, or clip compilations, make sure to go join the Discord server, there'll be an invite link in the video description, so definitely make sure to go join that. And I ask you to please subscribe if you're a fan of Forza, as I post weekly Forza Horizon 5 videos every Friday, and during the summer I'm going to be posting on Mondays as well. And also please leave a like and comment on the video so that YouTube recommends it to more people. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Let's get some skill points, shall we? Alright, so you're going to have two different ways um, to grind skill points. There's the boring but fastest way, or just the fun uh, but slower way of grinding skill points. Uh, I guess first we'll go over the, uh, the boring but fast way. Now the boring but the fastest way to uh, get skill points in Forest Horizon 5 right now is to run... Uh, custom maps. Now to get there, we go to Creative Hub, Event Lab, Event Blueprints. And the map that you want is this one. Ultimate Skills, 10 skill points in 18 seconds July. Um, and there is your share code, 589-390-143. Uh, and as you can see by the title, it gives you 10 skill points in about 18 seconds. Uh, and make sure, once you put the share code in, make sure you have it favorited so it's in your favorites tab so you don't lose it. Uh, but yeah, once you have it favorited, you can go ahead and hop in. Solo. Alright, and there's really only two cars that you can use to do these custom maps. Alright, so the two cars that can be used to grind skill points through the custom maps um, are this car right here, the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Force Edition, um, and the other car is going to be the BMW X5M Force Edition. Uh, this Lamborghini is going to get you 10 skill points in 18 seconds, and the BMW X5M Force Edition uh, is going to get you about 8 skill points uh, in 18 seconds. Alright, now let me show you the reason why I'm even bringing up the BMW X5M Forza Edition. Uh, it's because the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition will cost you over 7 million credits. Uh, so it's a pretty hefty price to pay for uh, 10 skill points a second. Let's find the BMW. Alright, here it is. X5M Forza Edition can be picked up for just a little over 200,000 credits. Um, here, I'll actually check if we can get it for exactly 200,000. And no, you can't. So 225 um, looks like the cheapest you're going to be able to pick up an X5M 4's edition for. Uh, so yeah, and to make sure that you actually get 10 skill points per race in the uh, Lamborghini Sesto Elemental 4's edition, just make sure you get all these perks that I have um, in the skill mastery. I mean, you don't have to get the super wheel spin one, but... All right, and if you're using the BMW X5M 4's edition, let me show you the uh, the mastery perks you need to buy for that one. All right, and these are gonna be the perks you need for the X5M 4's edition in order to get eight skill points in 18 seconds from that custom map. So yeah, just make sure you have these. Uh, so yeah, just make sure you fill out the masteries of the cars before you go into the custom event or you won't get the uh, maximum amount of skill points per race. All right, so let me show you what the map looks like. And I'll use the, uh, the Sesto Forza Edition. All right, once you load into the map, um, you're going to want to change your difficulty settings, first of all. Make sure your steering's on auto steering, traction and stability control is on, and that your shifting is on automatic. And if you want the most credits per race, put your Dravatar difficulty on unbeatable. Oh yeah, just make sure that you have auto steering, traction and stability control, and you're shifting on automatic. Um, cause then in that case you don't even have to look at your screen when you do the race. All you have to do is hold the gas. Alright, and you just sit here for 18 seconds, uh, until the race finishes. So as I said, this can get a little bit boring. Uh, but it is the fastest way to get skill points right now in Forza Horizon 5. So you could, you might have to just deal with it. <laughs> oh yeah, once the race finishes, um, you can go ahead and click restart and just do it again. It'll save the skill points that you get uh, for the races when you restart it, so don't worry about that. And I generally like to put on a Twitch stream or YouTube video on the side while I'm doing these. Uh, just because it, it's obviously not as boring. <laughs> But yeah, you should be getting 10 skill points um, per one of these races, which take about 18 seconds uh, to complete. So yeah, and then when you're done, click continue, uh, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how you do the custom maps. 
Um, now let me show you the more fun way to grind skill points. Alright, and if you want to grind skill points the fun way, um, there's really, again, only two cards that you can use. One of which, the best one, being super expensive, uh, and the second option being a cheaper one, but not as good. So the more expensive one, you actually can't get from the um, auto show you have to buy in the auction house. Um, or I'm pretty sure you can get it in wheel spins, but the chance of you getting one of these in wheel spins is pretty low. Uh, it's the Hoonigan Hoonicorn V2. And as you can see, they're very, very expensive. You have to spend almost 13 million to pick one of these up. Um, or the second one is another Hoonigan car, actually. It's the Hoonigan RS200. I'm going to pick one of these up for 440,000 credits, it looks like. But again, I will check to see if there are any for uh, just 400k, and they're not. So 440,000. Um, it's looking like how much you have to pick up one of these for. Alright, now let me show you what mastery perks you want for the Hoonicorn V2. And it won't work for the Hoonicorn V1, by the way. Alright, so let me show you why the Hoonicorn V2 is so good. It's this skill perk right here. Um, as you can see, it makes your car's skill multiplier go all the way up to 8. Um, which is very good for grinding skill points. Uh, so yeah, just unlock all the perks that you see on screen if you're going to use this car. Now let me show you the other one. Alright, and these are the skill perks that you want to unlock if you're using the Ford RS200 Evolution. Um, and as you can see, the skill multiplier uh, only goes up to 7 with this one. So not as good as the uh, Hoonicorn, but still not too bad. Alright, and how are you going to grind skill points with these cars is you're going to head down here uh, to this little drag strip on the map. So I'm going to fast travel over there. And all you're going to do is drift into stuff. That's it. Just break a bunch of stuff. Make your skill streak go as high as you can. Um, and that's basically it. You just knock into stuff. Just go back and forth. There are plenty of things you can hit over here. All sorts of trees and like... I don't know what that is, like lampposts and stuff. Um, and then your skill multiplier, if you are using the Unicorn, it'll go all the way up to 8. It's so, like you can just run down this line of uh, lampposts. Can you destroy this fence too? Oh yeah, this fence is great to grind skill points. Just go straight down it. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, you might want the extra life perk, because that could always happen. So you might want this one down here. It does cost 25 skill points though, which is kind of expensive. Um, but it saves you from that if you crash. Uh, your skill streak won't break. It's the same thing for the, uh, the RS200. Oh, that was a big tree. I yeah, see how I skill streak thing didn't break. Uh, so yeah, you can just drive around. Drift into things. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's not quite as good as the custom map, uh, but it's also not nearly as boring 